Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demo this procedural modeling tool that I wrote to automatically create a bookcase and fill its shelves with books or any asset really. I'll also show you how you can learn to code this yourself by following the live coding tutorial series that I created or by studying the code. This tool and the source code are available to you for free. I built this tool as an extension for NVIDIA Omniverse. You can download and use it in any Omniverse application. Just go to Window, Extensions, and in the Extension Manager, click on Third Party tab, search for Book, and here's the Bookshelf Generator. When you click on it, it'll give you an option to download and install, and you can accept the installation, and you'll find here the Bookshelf Generator window. Now with the Bookshelf Generator window, I'm ready to get started. I can click Create New, and that uh, doesn't show anything yet, but it's created the structure for this asset. It imported the material and the point instancer for the books, but it hasn't generated anything yet because I need to tell it what to put on the shelves. So with that, there's a section called Prototypes. And this tool comes with a free book asset that if you click here, Create Default Prototypes, it'll import that asset. It has a number of variants for different colors of books. So it'll import one for each color and add it to that list. I can add more prototypes if I want, and then I can set my dimensions for my bookshelf and the thickness of the shelves, how many shelves, and whether I should randomize the bookshelf, uh, the book scales. So I'll go ahead and generate now, and now I've got my first bookshelf. And I can rerun this as many times as I want to try out different designs here, and I can add another bookshelf. Uh, the randomized scale, because I'm using just one book asset, I wanted a little bit of variety in, in the sizes of the books, so I, I added that randomized book scale. But if I uncheck that, you can see here that I get different colors because I have different variations for, for the materials, uh, but all the books look the same. So I can check that back on and get some variation in thickness and in height. If you want to learn more about how I made this, I have a playlist of the full live coding tutorial series. You'll learn about creating extensions for Omniverse using Python, the various Omniverse APIs, and Universal Scene Description. It's about 13 hours in total showing my workflow from start to finish. You'll learn how I planned it out and reasoned through it. If you just want to see the code, I have a GitHub repository with all of the source code. I've put a link to the playlist and the GitHub repository in the description of this video. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe for more NVIDIA Omniverse content and tutorials.